Today we're going to talk about the second in a series that I'm calling Drop Stress and Gain Focus. I've got some speeches that I'm doing coming up and the clients wanted me to not only do my normal presentation about the five reasons people complain and how to get ourselves and others to stop, but they also wanted me to do what's called a breakout session. A breakout session is usually for a smaller group of people, but you go longer and more intense with material. And I have this program that I've created called Drop Stress and Gain Focus, and I have done it several times for companies and associations, and I'm getting ready to do it again, have not in a few years. And so I want to share with you the content, which helps me prepare, but it also gives you the very same material that people are paying to be part of and to observe. So yesterday, of course, we did... part one. And we talked about stress. We talked about what stress is. We talked about why stress is challenging. And today we want to talk about focus. Today we want to talk about focus. Napoleon Hill wrote arguably the greatest personal development book of all time. I certainly know that when you talk to successful people and ask them what was the book that really changed their life, many of them will say it is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And I was thinking about that last night, that you can summarize Think and Grow Rich really into the first three points. A lot of people jump jump into some of the further points before they have the first three clarified. And the first three points in Think and Grow Rich basically are decide where you want to go, make a plan to get there. And number three, take action on the plan immediately, whether you feel ready or not. Hill even says that, take action whether you feel ready or not. What you're going to discover is that your plan is going to fail. (laughs) Let me just be straight up with you. People think, okay, decide where I want to go. Number two, create the plan. Number three, get started on that plan. In many cases, the plan is not going to work out, but during the execution of the plan, you begin to hone in exactly how to get to where it is you want to go. And sometimes it takes a very long time to get there. Other times when you have the plan or at least the direction of where you want to go, you begin to move more quickly there. It can be frightening sometimes once you decide exactly what it is you want to do and then you begin to take action, how the stars just align for you. I think it was... W. W. Somerset Mom, who said the world steps aside for the man who knows whether he is going, man or woman, of course. And so we come back to when people say, oh, I'm just not focused. Focused on what? We need to ask ourselves, focused on what? Napoleon Hill only wrote two books, by the way. He wrote Think and Grow Rich, Rich, which was an absolute huge book. And then he wrote another one that came out just a couple of years ago, but he actually wrote it either prior to Think and Grow Rich or right after. And it's called Outwitting the Devil. And the interesting thing is, in the book, he's having a, a dialogue with the devil. I've listened to the audiobook, it's really good. He's having a dialogue with the devil, and the devil is even saying to him, you're never going to get this book published. This book is never going to come about, simply because you are going to fall victim to exactly what this book is about, and that is what the devil calls drift, drifting. Drifting is the opposite of focus. This thing is designed to make you drift. This is designed to make you drift drift. It is designed to get your focus on something other than what it is you want. A very good example is when you walk into the doors in Walmart and you go through those little, you know, barrier things that are there to 
supposedly prevent shoplifting. I think they're mind erasers, okay? So that you no longer focus on what you really came in, but right in front of you is the cool must-have stuff that they're trying to, to get rid of. They're trying to move. They're trying to make you drift. The challenge is that a lot of people say that they don't know what it is they want to focus on, and yet they haven't decided what it is they want to focus on. And we struggle in many cases to focus. I know that I'm looking at getting a boat. I'm also looking at getting a car, a new car. And so I'm looking at a lot of different things having to do with that. And when I go to look, all the other boat dealers and all the other car dealers are doing their very best to draw my focus away from what it is that I know that I want to what it is that they have sales, media, et cetera. Things are there to try and get you to drift. And what we need to do, as I say, is to focus on what it is we want and create a plan to get there and then begin to take action towards that plan. Later on, some of the other steps that Napoleon Hill talks about is number one, getting a mastermind group. What is a mastermind group? It's two or more people who have a common interest in seeing you succeed at whatever it is you want to do. I think this is, may have been what was meant in the Bible when it says where two or more of you are gathered. My mind just drifted. <laughs> you know what it drifted to? I got these reviews yesterday from 500 people who heard me speak. And during the speech, I mentioned that I was a minister. And uh, really, that's about it. I don't talk about anything else. And people are so polarized when it comes to religion that a lot of people said that I was preaching religion and all this, which is, anyway, it's just funny how people's attention uh, focus when they are set based on something that they believe to be there, even though it's not there. They perceive things that are simply not not there. Where is it you want to go? I'm so grateful that I get to ask you this question because yes, the year is coming up and most people will set uh, what I call overwhelmment lists, also known as New Year's resolutions. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change that. I'm going to change this. And the more things that they add, the more they feel let off the hook when they don't succeed because the more things that you overwhelm yourself with, the less likely you are to succeed. And therefore, but you spread the guilt about it <laughs> so you don't feel as bad. So where is it you want to go? Ask yourself, where do I want to go? What do I want to be? What do I want the outcome of the next year to be? You have a lot more choice than you believe. One of the things that little things that I'm looking at is like, I want my wrist to feel better. And so I've tried a variety of things. I've tried massage. I've tried uh, chiropractic. I've tried heat. I've tried cold. I've tried all kinds of things. And now I'm going to go see an, um, um, a bone doctor. Can't think of the term right now. Anyway, um, I'm going to see a doctor about my wrist. So that is my focus. That is my focus is to see myself healed. You see what I mean? To see myself healed and doing the things that I want to do, to be able to do a close grip push up without pain. And I'm moving in that direction and that is my focus. So what is your focus? What is it? Step number one and think and grow rich. Where do you want to go? Step number two, create a plan to get there. And step number three, begin to take action. The other reason you need to begin to take action is that hones your focus. It validates your focus. A lot of people say, you know what? This is something I hear all the time. I'm going to write a book someday. Oh yeah. What are you going to write about? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to write a book someday. It is better to decide on what it is you're going to write a book about, get started, and know that it's probably going to take you in many different directions, and you discover along the way. Focus. Focus. So, in the process of dropping stress and gaining focus, let me tie all this together for you before we move on. The more stressed you are, the less you are able 
to focus. The more cortisol you have in your bloodstream, the more difficult it is for you to maintain your focus on your goals, on what you want, on where you want to go and what you want to be. So dropping stress is actually one of the best steps to allow yourself to focus. Let me give you an example. People who are struggling financially and people who struggle every day financially and people who get up in the morning struggling financially have difficulties making decisions that people who are not struggling don't struggle with. Wow. All over the place with that. Bottom line, people who are financially insecure struggle with basic decisions whereas people who are financially secure make them more easily. I heard a podcast in which a psychiatrist was trying to prove this to a journalist, and he put the person under stress. In this case, the stress was having not eaten. So he convinced the journalist not to eat. He gave them a very simple test, and then he convinced the journalist to go 24 hours without eating, which put his body under stress. He then administered a very similar test and the journalist did nowhere near as good. And he said, so you, we put your body under stress with you just not eating for 21 hours, 24 hours. Imagine people that are under financial stress or emotional stress for 24 hours or more on a daily basis. So wherever we are, if we're under financial stress, if we're under emotional stress, it becomes important upon us even more to drop that stress and to become mindful. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to give you techniques, a lot of which we're going to actually do. We're going to demonstrate and we're going to practice live. If you're here with me live, if you're watching on demand, watch it then and also practice this because I'm going to give you some skills to approach 2022 with less stress so that you can enjoy more focus. All right. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high.